turn now to the extreme side effects that coronavirus patients are seeing. A Broadway star even had to get his leg amputated. Earlier, I asked Dr. Imran Ali about that and about kidney failure. The virus is not only affecting the lungs and the heart, like I've talked about before, but now we're noticing that the kidneys are severely affected. We're getting studies out of Wuhan, China, where it shows that the tubular cells of the kidney, which helps regulate, you know, the kidney function and potassium levels, you know, are disrupted. And this requires hemodialysis in many patients. And then you also mentioned the leg amputation. We're seeing a lot more blood clotting with this virus, and it affects the platelets in some way with the inflammatory cascade. And we're still learning a lot more about why this is. The actor that we have here had, you know, less blood flow to his leg because of a blood clot, and that's why they needed to amputate his leg. Definitely some alarming developments we're hearing. And we also learned over the weekend that contamination at the CDC reportedly delayed the testing process for COVID back at the start of this crisis. What's the takeaway here regarding how we are moving forward? Well, we really lost a lot of time because the first tests that were rolled out by the CDC were, you know, assembled in a lab where they were actually studying a synthetic model of the coronavirus. So the test got contaminated with that model. So if the tests were given, they would light up positive when the patient actually did not have the coronavirus, meaning they would be useless and actually dangerous because they would not tell us what's going on. And as we move forward with 13% of the workforce now applying for unemployment benefits, a lot of people are losing their health insurance. How worried are you about this, especially if there's a possible resurgence of the virus? Well, not only the virus, we still may have strokes, heart attacks, cancer, other diseases don't take a vacation, Mona. So we still see people who really need health insurance, who need to have their diseases followed up on. We will see in the future months what kind of effect this has, but I predict that we're really going to see a surge not only in, you know, chronic diseases that are not being taken care of, but also, you know, maybe new problems that aren't being addressed because people don't have insurance to go see a doctor. And another 7 million Americans are expected to lose their health insurance by the end of June. Staggering numbers.